Welcome to another episode of It's All Daniel From Here. Today we're headed onto the peninsula to explore Mount Eliza and then headed onto Fort Nepean to see the beautiful Port Sea Coast. I can't wait to show you. Thank you for the ride, Azza. <laughs> That is a pretty decent group, I won't lie. <laughs> ah, trolls, Ching. What a crew we have today. Look at them. So nice. <laughs> Where's, where's, oh, you're, you're filming. <laughs> Very photogenic in that uh, hat there, Jing, just so you know. Then you, you, you can only get in my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, you keep getting us lost. What's going on? It's uh, all trails. <laughs> <laughs> it is all trails. And, and, and me getting distracted. <laughs> but, but we'll blame Sammy. <laughs> Is that your couch, Terry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Secret hideout here in Mount Eliza. little huts are spread everywhere on the trail. <laughs> a bad resting spot. Not a bad spot at all. <laughs> a nice easy trail here. Pretty flat, um, varied, but um, definitely not offering a challenge. A nice walk out here in nature. Mount Eliza, past a few dams here and there in thick forestry. Um, yeah, nice little walk. <laughs> To be honest the the trails are subtle so they're easy to miss so you do need to keep your eyes on that all trails link <laughs> and uh, make sure that you don't get too distracted watch out our first climb and it's pretty pretty uh minuscule
now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is nice. <laughs> And now for the payoff. <laughs> Woo! Now <laughs> that. <laughs> what a beast. <laughs> <sighs> nice work. Ah, that was a decent climb. Let's go suss out this lookout that we've earned. Oh, Ooh, nice. <laughs> nearly got us lost again, Sammy. I mean, you nearly got us lost. Oh, um, yeah, I can't get away with it. I can't get away with it again. <laughs> it's my bad. So that's it, a nice, relatively short loop, <laughs> seven kilometers, easy to get lost, won't lie to you, but a good trail and uh, well worth for an easy walk with some slightly challenging parts. All right, time to rock, as is epic ute now, headed to our next spot, Fort Nepean in Portsea. <laughs> Wait till you see this coastline, amazing. Ready to rock and roll here, Fort Nepean. <laughs> Love the quarantine station here. All these old buildings from the war. Pretty fascinating place, definitely worth checking out. Um, good for a walk, but also good to study history if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, there's a lot of plaques and information. Have a look at this. Well, let's go have a look. This is one of my favorite parts about Fort Nepean. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you like what? <laughs> I love it. Actually. Is that where they find that cannon shot?
guy, girls. <laughs> What's your profound opinion of Fort Nepean? Oh, it's windy. It's <laughs> <laughs> killing me. You're killing me. The rat strikes again. Stitched up at the end and tip of Fort Nepean. It seems to be closed. Hopefully, when you come, you get to see it because it's amazing. But uh, we're gonna have to turn back. Ooh, a landslide. Probably be out for at least a few months. Hopefully you get to see it when you come and visit, but it is it's absolutely stunning. It goes right along the coast of Fort Nepean. Awesome coastal views. Oh, oh. wow. What is this? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, my God. Sammy! Very cool. What do you think, Sammy? Very cool. <laughs> Good chat. Good chat again. <laughs> Inspirational words from Sammy here. No, we didn't see any. Not, not this time anyway. I got Sammy a ripper scare though. Yeah. Yes, ads. Woo! Good. <laughs> So here's the other end of the closure from the track before. So just through there, that land behind me is actually Queenscliff. From here to drive, you have to go the long way around through Melbourne at two and a half, three hours. <laughs> Or you could just swim there from here in Portsea. Probably still take me three, four, seven hours anyway. <laughs> awesome though, so close. You can't
can catch the ferry across too, from Portsea itself. Down here. Oh, that's oh, oh that's that, that actually goes through too. Yeah, Is let's it? go the exciting way. Place operate between. I, I don't know, but we'll find out. <laughs> you can blame me, Debbie, if it doesn't work. Ooh. Ooh. Is no oh, doing that. this is where the snake was last time. Is it? Oh yeah. It was on here. Yeah, we came from that side. See? I guess either. So. We'll go, yeah, now I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Almost back. <laughs> yeah. A lot of us are starving, ready for the pub. <laughs> all right, it's time to go to the Portsea Hotel. We're all starving, thirsty. It's been a great day hiking. And now, now for our rewards. <laughs> Uh, here in Portsea. Sweet wood fired pizzas. Oh. <laughs> Pretty thirsty over here. <laughs> Hotel food. I'd on, say winning. On point. on point. We're on here. We are on Porty Hotel. Recommended. And as is very fussy. So to get his approval. Takes one to know one. <laughs> yeah, I'm fussy too. <laughs> Guilty. Love the wood fired pizzas. <laughs> Thank you.
so thanks so much for watching. The Mount Eliza Quarry is a perfect start, and if you are headed to Fort Nepean from Melbourne, hey, it's on the way. Fort Nepean, every time I go, it's gorgeous, the coastal views are therapeutic, and that history steeped in World War I and World War II, it's fascinating and well worth checking out. Portsea Hotel was another victory in terms of local pubs around the area, and I recommend it, especially those wood-fired pizzas. <laughs>